I want to, I want to get the is. final word of Mr. Chikata, and I'll also give you a minute to wrap up as well, and then we'll wrap up today. Uh, Mr. Chikata, I, I'm just wondering, with what has transpired, really, uh, how do you think this has impacted us, aside from the allegation of politicization of our judiciary, and moving forward, really, what do you expect? Very briefly, and I'll come to Mr. Davis, and we'll wrap up. Oh, and you come to me again. Oh, you are you speaking? <laughs> okay, then let me make... Okay, let please. Me make Mr. Chikata is yeah, yeah, on the floor. Our difference. time is up. You see, the, Just the a worry, second. Another worry is that when uh, the people are asking this, Mr. Law, Mr. Law, I'll come back and to you. And you are giving a, no, no, Mr. Law, please, we've gone, we've gone please, very well, very well, if you can allow, very well. Mr. Well, well, Mr. Chikata, Mr. Chikata, please go on with your point, your final words. Yeah, I was saying that my fundamental problem is that the Supreme Court's ruling is flawed on so many simple grounds as a matter of law. And the Chief Justice, the Supreme Court itself, is subject to the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. And it becomes a matter of concern if you know, we see such evident flaws in the way that the Supreme Court, which is the highest court of the land, is making determination, particularly when in making these determinations, they don't even advert to previous decisions that they themselves have authoritatively given, whether it's in respect of Article 99 or in respect of the Article 2.1 interpretation and enforcement power. The Supreme Court has time and again made it quite clear that all courts actually have to apply the Constitution and this exclusive power of interpretation is not simply something that anybody can run to them and invoke. So on many occasions when attempts have been made to invoke this uh, jurisdiction, the Supreme Court has declined. And again, there are clear you know, precedents about that. So why are those precedents not under consideration in this particular situation? And I, I don't think we need to wait until the decision on the 11th before we start addressing these important matters. And maybe I should make one further final point. You, you know, um, Frank Davis is quite right. The language in which, you know, criticisms are made uh, is, is, is important. It's important to be respectful and moderate in one's language. I think that applies also, by the way, to the Supreme Court itself, when it is, you know, dealing with the speaker, when it is dealing with even counsel before it. Because if the Supreme Court or members of the panel show themselves, you know, impatient and sort of um, show themselves as basically, you know, I mean, wanting to rush into a certain seemingly preordained conclusion, it's a lot of cause for worry in this country, not only because of forthcoming elections, but simply because of the constitutional architecture that we have. Of the constitutional architecture that we have, uh, that will be uh, Chachi Chikata. And Mr. Davis, you have some uh, reactions again uh, as regards to what Mr. Chikata has said, as well as what Mr. Lowe has said. Mr. Lowe. Mr. Lowe, okay. Mr. Lou, uh, so far as the very last comments of my, my, my lecturer and my senior, my very good friend, uh, Uncle Chachua said, I agree with him in total. The language, both the bench and the bar language, should be complementary. We are all lawyers before we become justices of the Superior Court. Nobody comes from a mechanical or carp carpentry <laughs> background to become a judge. We are lawyers first. <laughs> Before we become judges. So the language should be complementary. The bar and the bench should show mutual respect to each other. On that, I agree with him totally. Now, George, eh, please, eh, please. What do you mean by the Supreme Court uh, busybodies? I mean, come on. I didn't say Supreme Court are busybodies. You, you said what? I said those going to the Supreme Court are busybodies. Yes. Sorry. Yes. I, Sorry. Didn't, I didn't say that. Sorry. Now, uh, Justice Atukuba, I mean, very brilliant justice. I've sat on various committees of the General Legal Council with him. I mean, but sometimes when we are quoting and making references to people, uh, let us also be very, very circumspect. Because I can also say so many things about Jasatuguba. 
Don't, don't let us bring them into the free. When they speak, they've spoken. Let's, let's leave them. These are distinguished justices of our courts. Because if you say Judge Adubuga has said something about the Supreme Court, you want me to also keep quiet or you want me to say something against him. Don't, don't, no, don't, don't let us do that. But did he say something or not? No, don't let us say. But you said he... Yeah, I said he, he said has, something. And I quoted said what he said. That, that, so, that, yes. that the Supreme There's, Court has become predictable. Hey. Yes, I am, no, you know, he didn't say that they have become predictable. But what you, are you, talking, you are talking about. No, but what, what did he say? He said that in this particular case, mm -hmm. he's convinced he did not have original jurisdiction in the matter. Yes, and that's so, all but, I but, but, so, but, and he but had said don't, exactly don't, that. Don't, don't, don't let us be, I mean, they are justices of the Supreme Court. Let's leave them alone. Let us, let us say what we want to say. Because I can say something different. I don't want to say it. It doesn't really matter. But Mr. David. Us, excuse mm. me, excuse me. Let me, let mm. me go on. Article 99. George, Article 99, you invoke the jurisdiction of the High Court in those matters for the High Court to declare a seat vacant. Yes. It is not about constitutional interpretation. Yes. Indeed, yes. indeed. Yes. Even in, in the High Court, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. when a matter of constitutional interpretation arises, you know that. Yes. And Article 132. Of course, that's what they I will did. Have to that's refer. what I did in there. The matter to the Supreme Court. There's another yeah. matter. Why not part? Yes. The, the expert is another. Why not part? Yeah, yeah, so even recently, most with the EC, yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, right. so, so what I'm so saying, you know, if you say that, no, what yes, I'm saying, the, please, yes. the High Court has used it yes. to entertain yes. an action yes. as to whether a seat has it's been declared good. vacant. Good. That is one thing yes. under Article 99. Yes. Now, when we are talking about a constitutional interpretation of Article 97 1G, yes. it cannot be the domain. So, of I the think that, that so, has so already excuse, been established. So, excuse me. So, no, no, no. But, no. Me, but he I said, he, you, he, you, no, you, he yes. said that uh -huh. uh, because of Article 99, the matter shouldn't have gone to the No, but you see, no, you are uh, me one of the I'm main points, one said. of the main points being made that. is that I, I know you're talking about quoting justice or justices yeah. and, and all of that. But again, we're also very much aware that Sofia Kofu herself, former Chief Justice, has also said that she's concerned about the supposed parking of the courts by quote unquote political affiliates. Uh, you see, uh, don't I, 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 I quibble when I have to respond. And she was appointed by the MPP. It doesn't, it doesn't by, matter by whether she was MPP, appointed. She I wasn't mean, appointed Akufuadu. by the MPP. By President Akufuadu. As, as, as Chief Justice or as a Justice of the Supreme Court? As Chief Justice. Yeah. Of course, but she was a Justice of the Supreme Court first because before she became Chief Justice. She was a justice of the Supreme Court first before she became chief justice. Do you so know, do you know who appointed her to the bench of the I'm Supreme Court? I'm just referring to her you comments. You see, don't, don't, don't let us be doing that. Don't let us be doing that. No, you're talking... No, no, no. no. See, you see, see, don't let us Mr. be doing Davis. that. Excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Davis, let, let me just laugh. I, because you're you talking... You're just talking about quoting people. And I'm giving you an example. And I'm saying that don't let us be doing that. Because Justice of Ayakufu was a justice of the Supreme Court before she became the chief justice. Okay, and I'm asking you, who appointed her onto the bench of the Supreme Court? You know, so when people make these comments, I quibble. Look, when vacancies occur on the bench of the Supreme Court, who is supposed to appoint? No, no, when the vacancies... President, the president has the authority yes, to appoint... Yes, yes, no, it's, but it's you not see, as if he has I'll, authority. I'll go to Mr. Chikata very shortly. He shortly. is the one clothed with authority to appoint I'll go to in consultation mm -hmm. with the Judicial Council and then they go to Parliament for confirmation. I think Mr. Davis, the point I'm Davis. making is, is that, that in, in cases when lawyers are arguing your cases in court, mm -hmm. you always quote cases and the cases are represented by lawyers. Yes. And that's exactly what is being done by quoting what A or B said just to advance an argument. In, 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 in support of what? Not in support of anything, that, that, but that, just to give you an example. Yeah, that what? That what, what, what Sophia Akufu it said meant what? It is not to support anything. No, and what, I think what, I've what, made that what, what she said meant what? That, that because by the justices in this Supreme Court were appointed by... His, 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 her, her, her argument or statement was eventually or essentially to say that, you know, you're having uh, political issues within the judiciary if indeed the parking of the court is anything to go by. Pa parking? Uh, parking of the court by supposed political affiliates or with supposed political affiliates. Who, who, who are those political affiliates? N name one. Miss, Mr. Davis, if you can make your point in terms uh, yeah, of yeah, what you, you make no, of that you, point. You are, you, you are saying something that somebody has said something. And I say, political affiliates, who are those political affiliates? Every president has the power to
to appoint justices onto the Supreme Court, irrespective of whether the person had had earlier on had MPP affiliation, CPP, UNC, PNC. So far as you go for constitutional vetting in Parliament, and Parliament passes you, nobody can infringe on your absolute right to be a justice of the Supreme Court. The, the, the Parliament is made up of NDC and MPP. And other let, let's, let me, and, parties. Uh, there, there, there is no other party. It is MPP, NDC, 137, 137, and one independent who does business with the majority, 138, 137. Which is causing the problem. Uh, well, don't, 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 don't you worry about that. But <laughs> Justice Gehu, <laughs> Justice Gehu, in the first place, mm -hmm. he was in Parliament. He was voted by both members of the majority and the minority. So if, if after that he becomes a justice of the Supreme Court, you say because he has had leanings with the MPP, he, he should not sit on any case in the mm -hmm. Supreme Court. So oh, you actually on. disagreed come with on. that? I, I, oh, I, have come a different, come on. I have a different position. Come that on, position is just about discretion. Mm. You, see, yes, discretion. you see, in empaneling the Supreme Court, mm. the Chief Justice should have taken notice of certain things. And one of them would have been people who had definitive definable political affiliations in the whether in the past or present and deciding that the matter before us some people when they sit on it and whichever way they rule the perception will be that they are being influenced by their political they or are their being political. influenced yeah, by, by political so clearly what he should have done what well, what she should have done was if i were the chief justice i'm not but if i were i'll use my discretion to empanel put up a panel in such a way that when they come out and speak... There will be no as, issues. There will be people who have a lot more... Let me just get one minute from Mr. Chikata, because I saw him reacting to what Mr. Davis said. Since you're still with us, Mr. Chikata, if you can give us one minute of your thought and then... Did you see him reacting? Yes, I saw him reacting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chikata, can you hear us? Well, yes. I mean, you know, all, all I want to say is that I think it should be our responsibility, especially as lawyers... Uh, to ensure that the framework within which the judiciary operates is a framework that is guided by the Constitution and by the laws of the land. And the laws of the land, the Constitution, get reflected in decisions of the courts over the years. That's what we call judicial precedent. So... It makes a lot of sense, in my estimation, that people should point out where the Supreme Court is failing to apply its own precedent, because sometimes the Supreme Court has reversed itself. In, ex in Oponi's, uh, one of the cases in which uh, Mr. Oponi took to the Supreme Court, there was a review, uh, you know, in which they reversed the ordinary bench of the Supreme Court as they said, one precedent that had previously uh, been established by the Supreme Court was ignored by the ordinary bench. And in a situation, as I'm pointing out, where numerous precedents have been ignored by the Supreme Court in its decision making, I think we all owe it to ourselves as lawyers and to the nation at large to bring out these matters so that the Supreme Court, you know, where it has gone wrong, should correct itself and restore confidence in itself as the highest court of the land. Uh, renowned lawyer, Shachi Chikata, thank you once again for joining us on Agenda. Thank you, Frank Davis. Also for joining us on Agenda and also to you, George Lowe, for joining us. My name Thank is Beatrice. So join us again next Thank week. You. Thank you.